Check. Start streaming. Unknown Kirk North student. A two. A one. Okay. So today we are going to learn all the formulas from date series, date and time series. There are more than 22 formulas, 22, 24 formulas from date and time series. Some of the formulas are very simple. Some of the formulas are a little bit complicated. But we are going to study all uh, kind of formulas. Okay. So the very simple formula for printing the date of today. which you know very well that is today so let's print the date of today using today formula as edit the line left equals equals t o d a y today today left parent right parent and enter align default vertical align default a 2 30-03-2023 as formula a1 this is the date and it is refreshable if tomorrow you checked this sheet, date will be 31st. Day after tomorrow, date will be 1st of April. If you want to check date and time or if you want to print date of time of your transaction, you can use now formula. Now. A two. Now will print date and time. Equals. Edit the line left equals. N O W. Now. Now, left parent, right parent, align default, vertical, align default, a 3, 30-03-2023, 19, colon, 30, as formula overflowing, a 2. So, it prints date and time together. And this is also refreshable formula. So, if you want this date and time to be constant, you can paste it as values. But if you want this as a refreshable formula, so you don't need to make it constant. Okay. So just message me in the comment section if you are uh, understanding this, if you are getting this, these are the very simple formulas These are the very simple formulas, so we will definitely not waste our time. A 3, 30 dash 0, 3 dash 20, 20, 3, 19, colon 30 as formula overflowing A2. Yes, time is constant. Ah, yes, we can understand that formula is now, right? But time is not changing here. Okay. So, <clears throat> in date, if you are confused or if you want to extract day, month, year from particular date, 
so which is the year which is the date which is the month if you want to extract these uh, numbers in serial numbers uh, such as uh, in particular format how you will do it so there are three formulas which will help you to do so and they accept only uh, one argument as per me just yes the formulas are day month and year these are the three formulas day month and year now just see 30-03-2023 as formula A1, B1. This is the date. So let's get day here. Day from this date. Equals. Edit the line left equals. D A Y. Day. Day left parent. And the date is in A1. That's why we will give cell reference A of A1. One. A1 one, right parent. Align to 30 as formula B1. So 30 is the day. See, many times you are not able to understand. Suppose date is 10, 10, 2022. So which 10 is the day, which 10 is the month or 10, 12, 2022. So 12 is the month or day or 12 is day or month. You cannot understand. You can check format. Of course, you can check format, but if you want to extract day out of particular date, there may be different reasons that you uh, need to extract days, which we will uh, be studying in further cases, upcoming cases. But till the time, just understand if you want to extract day out of the date, just use this formula, which is very simple equals day and the cell reference of date. So it will return the day of the C30 as formula B1 date C1 similarly month edit the line left equals M O N T H month month left parent A1 A1 right parent will return month align default 3 as formula C1 3 means it is uh, returning serial number of month means it is third month of the year it is third month of the year that it is saying D1 now let, let's extract year which is very simple edit the line left equals Y E A R year, year left pair A 1 a 1 right pair align default 2023 as formula D1 yes so that's it see sometime you uh, your boss may ask you to uh, separate day month and year for creating drop downs right for creating drop downs also he may ask you to separate the day month and year or there may be different purposes you need to extract day month and years out of the dates given to you so you are going to use these formulas day month year okay now there may be another case there may be another case where serial numbers are written in form of dates means day month and year serial numbers are written in form of day month and year let me uh, one, clear sir. this cut, cut, remove the select student detail suppose serial numbers are written in form of D A Y day sheet four table align default vertical align default D one day C one D one month at O N T H month align default vertical align edit E A R and year align default vertical D two C two day C one C two so let me generate the random day here random day how I'm, I can generate random serial number for day? Just quickly know in the comment section. How I can generate random serial number for the day? It should be between 1 to 30.
rand between okay so let's generate random day by using random rand between formula but day should be between 1 to 30 because uh, we want numbers that is the line left equals r a n d b e t w e e n rand between rand between left parent lower number is 1 1 comma highest number will be 3 0 t and we will hit Align default vertical align 13 as formula C2. Okay. D2. Then again. Month D2. D2. Month. Serial number for, I want serial number for month. So what will be the range? What will be the range of rand between for generating serial numbers for the month? 1 to 12. So generate serial number from 1 to 10. Edit align left equals R A N D B E T W E E N Rand between left parent one one comma one two twelve right parent align default five at formula D two E two and let's generate years also from nineteen fifty to two thousand twenty three. Edit the line left equals R A N D B E T W E E N. Rand between. Rand between left one zero zero nine five zero nine hundred fifty comma two zero two three. Twenty three. Twenty twenty three right pair align default verdict nineteen ninety as formula E two. See guys, this is your date. 2 at 10 as formula C2, 2 as formula D2, 1990 as formula E2. This is your date. Now, <clears throat> just fill down this formula in 100 rows. It means... 2 at 10 as formula C2. I will fill down this formula from C2 to E101. So I will go to dialog, go to colon, reference call C, C two, two C two colon E, e one Z zero E student details dash Excel C four unknown cursor align default vertical eight as formula C four eleven as formula C five three as formula D five. So now I have different numbers as day, month, and year in hundred rows. Just let me know, are you done with this? And now we are going to combine these numbers and create date out of these numbers in proper date format. For that, we have formula. So just let me know if you have done with this rand between thing. See guys, you must be motivated uh, uh, by observing my computer. It is too fast today. So you also have to be fast. Yes, okay. So basically, we have generated numbers for day, month and year. And we are going to form date out of these numbers by using date formula. Do you know date formula accepts which arguments and in which sequence? If anyone is aware about date formula, just put it in comment section. How date will accept arguments? Date is very simple formula. The objective of this formula is to convert the serial numbers of day, month and year in proper date format. This is the objective of this formula. <clears throat> now, the formula is your date. D A T E and this formula accepts the arguments as 
year month and day year month and day now we have year month and day in specific cells so we will provide cell reference to date formula but it should be as yy mm dd means year month and day first of all cell reference of year then month and then day and it will convert your numbers into dates so just do it and let me know if you have done with this So let me convert my numbers into proper date. So I will create another column. Seven as formula D four. Here. Eight as for twenty twenty F three F one. Date. A A T T. Date. Align default vertical align default F two. And I will type this formula here. Edit align left equals D A T T. Date. Date left parent. Then year. Year is there uh, in E two. E. E2, E2, comma. Month is there in D2, 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 comma. And day is there in C2. C2, C2, right parent. Align default 01 07 1985 as formula F2. This is the first date, and let me fill down this formula till F1. One zero one. Go to dialog. Go to colon. Reference colon. Edit alt plus R. Selected F. Selection removed. Two. F two colon F. One zero one. F student details dash Excel. Quick analysis available. Unknown cursor. And see, these are the dates. Align default vertical. Align default. Sixteen dash zero six dash twenty seventeen as formula F three. Twenty four dash twelve dash nineteen ninety two as formula F four. 13-04-1967 as formula F5. 19-04-1953 as formula F6. So these are the dates. Out of these random serial numbers, we have generated dates. If these serial numbers change, our dates are going to change. Date F1, 16-02-1983 as formula F2. So let me change this. 92 as for 16 as formula C2. See, let me change this 16 to 20. Align. 20. 2 as 19, 16-092 as formula 16 as formula C2. Okay. Num lock on. Edit align left 2, 0. Align to 1955 as formula E, 20-11-1955 as formula F2. C. 1955 as formula 20-11-1955 as formula F2. So that's how this date formula works. But you should pass the parameters in Y, M, D format. Year, month, day. This is the proper format. Just let me know in the comment section. When you will be done. Or if you have any doubt, you can ask me in comment section. If you are not able to understand anything, you can un ask me. Because the formula is very easy, that's why I am going little faster. So basically this formula can convert your <coughs> date, uh, the serial numbers into date, proper date format. And day, month and year, these formulas can extract day, month and year out of the dates. So let's extract again day, month and year out of these dates and uh, we will practice these formulas. Date F1, G1. So let's make the column for day here. Edit A, Y. Day. Align default vertical align. O, N, T, H. 
month. Align default word N E A R. Year. Align day G1, G2. Let's type day formula here. Edit align left D A Y. Day left parent F2. F2. F2 right parent. Align 20 as formula G2. H2 month date H2. Month formula here. Edit align left M O N T H. Month. Month left parent. F2. F2 right parent. Align 10 as formula H I2. And year formula. Here. Edit align left equals Y E A R. Year. Here left parent. Left bracket and F. F. Two. two. F2 right. Align 2000 as formula I2. So let's fill this down. 520 as formula G2. G2. So go to dialog, I go to colon, reference colon, edit alt plus R selected FG selection 2. G2 colon I. 1 0 1. A student details and dash Excel. Unknown cursor. Align default 25 as formula G4. See, all the days, month and years again we have on our screen. So that's what about day, month, year and date formula. <clears throat> now let's learn another formula, E-date. E-date is for effective date. The HR finance people must know what is the meaning of effective date. Suppose I have uh, purchased a mobile phone and maturity uh, EMI is of 10 months and the maturity date is after 10 months so what will be the date of uh, uh, what will be the date after 10 months prior to the date of today it means what will be the date after 10 months effective date after 10 months so effective date is calculated in terms of months e date formula accepts the argument date and months number of months so let's try 25 a 4 a 4 a, a 3 a 2 a 1 a 1 so let's uh, get today's uh, date here at a t e date and align here, default vertical e align default b1 e means effective date at the line left e space d a t e so date and e date align e date b1 Day one, two. So let's fetch uh, today's date here. Edit the line left equals T O D A Y. Today. Cat nine zero. Oh. Zero nine. Caps lock off. Left right parent. Align to thirty dash zero three dash twenty twenty three zero zero colon zero zero at formula overflowing A two. Mm -hmm. Okay, it is just. Edit the line. Let me rectify this mistake. Equals T O D A Y. Today, right parent, align 30-03-202300 colon 00 as formula overflowing A2. Okay, let me change its format to short date. H, N, number, align, general, number, currency, account, short date, sheet 4, table, a 3, 30-03-2023 as formula A2. Okay. B2. Now let's calculate effective date after 13 months. What will be the effective date? after 13 months and the formula for calculating effective date is e date e date accepts the argument that is start date start date is uh, today and number of months so number of months are 13 in our case so e date will accept these two arguments start date and e date b1 b2 number of months so let's type the formula here edit align left equals e d a t e e date e date left parent start date is in a, a two, 2 a 2 comma number of months are 1 2 not 2 2 3 3, three right parent 13 Align default vertical 45,412 as formula B2. What is this number? Don't worry. Just convert it into date format. Because the format of the cell is... Rip N. Number format. Align general. Number. Currents. Account. Short date. 
Unknown cursor B3 30-04-2024 as formula B2. See, the effective date will be 30 April, 30th April 2024. This will be the effective date. Sometimes we have to calculate the <coughs> date after 45 months, uh, 15 months, 17 months, 18 months, bank people know very well. So this formula will help you in this regard. E-date, the insurance people or finance people must know these things, effective date, importance of eff effective date. सेल रेफरेंस देना जरूरी है अगर डेट में डेट को अपने सेल पर्टिकुलर सेल में लिखा है तो प्लीज रिपीट द ई डेट ई फॉर एलिफेंट इक्वल्स ई डेट ई डी ए टी ई एंड देन योर सेल रेफरेंस वेयर यू हैव रिटर्न द डेट एंड कॉमा नंबर ऑफ मंथ्स एंड यू विल क्लोज द ब्रैकेट ई डेट E D A T E. See, I will read out the formula for you. B three thirty dash zero four dash twenty twenty four as formula B. Edit the line left equal right e equals E D A T E left parent A two comma one three right parent blank. That's what. A line to hold vertical. A two is my cell reference, and thirteen months I am going to add in this date. Yes, the next formula is very powerful. The importance of this formula, bank and finance people, HR people will definitely understand. Everyone, end of month is the formula. End of month. What this formula will return you? It will return the end date of month, last date of month. See, you will say, sir, what is there in uh, la finding last date of month using formula? There is nothing. See, uh, if you see this date. A 3, a 3, 30 dash 0, 3 dash 20, 23 as formula A2. So, you know, end of the month is 31st of March 2023. So, you will say, sir, this is the date. But what if about thousands of entries? Or what if about, uh, what about... The 100 dates we have generated today itself. We have to uh, know that what is the end date of particular month. Because many banks and uh, companies have policies that they will process the salaries on end date of month or they will have retirement functions of a uh, function of the employee on end date of the month. They will have lot of things of uh, on end date of months. So how to do this thing? So here this formula will help you. EO month. EO month is for end of month. EO month is for end of month. The formula is like EO M O N T H S EO months. Then this formula will accept one argument that is date. and number of months so effective date for example effective date we have calculated for uh, this this formula is very similar to effective date we'll show you how what will be the last date of that particular month that this formula will tell you for example what will be the end date of the month after 10 months 
30-03-2023 as Formula A2, 30-04-2024 as Formula B2, 20C2. Okay, let me insert the column for EO month formula. Insert dialog, insert window, shift cells, entire row radio, but entire column rate, student detail 30-04-2024 as C2, C1. Okay, I have inserted this column. So EO month. Edit the line left E. O M O N T H S. EO months. This is the formula which we are going to use. Align default vertical align default C2. Now I want to see that what will be the end date of the month after 10 months. After 10 months of this date. So Edit the line left equals E O M O N T H S. E months left parent. Cell reference will be a of A2 two. Two because there is date. A 2, comma, 1, 0, 10. 10, right there. Align default number name question as formula C2. Okay, okay, just let Edit me line. check my formula again. Equals E, O, N, O, N, E, M, N. Okay, uh, you don't have to use S. Just E, O, M, N, M, O, N. Left parent A two a two comma one zero ten right parent Microsoft Excel dialog there take as a problem with student okay, details that miss the argument just let me check the argument Ah, yes, date and number of months uh, I should type. Equals. Equals. E. O. M. O. N. E. M. So this is the formula and the arguments which I can see on uh, formula EO month EO M O N T H then bracket open start date comma months Okay, that's what we are doing here. Start date is our A. A1. One. One. A1 is our start date. Oh, so previously I have typed this A2, but there is no date in A2. So that was my mistake. One. One. A1. No. One. Two. A2. Ah, okay, fine. A2. Two, comma. One zero ten right there. Sheet four take thirty one dash zero one dash twenty twenty four as formula C two. Okay, so this will be the date of uh, this will be the end date after ten months. End of the month means last date of the month after ten months. Thirty first January. C three thirty one dash zero one dash twenty twenty four as formula C two. So formula is equals E O M O N T H then bracket open date comma number of months effective date effective end date of the month see this date is important because if you want to send notice to your clients after 10 months but the uh, condition is that notice should be reached notice should be reached before one month means prior to one month and that to be on the last day of that month suppose the maturity period is of 10 month so last day of the 10th month will be your maturity uh, day but notice notice should be issued prior to one month so what will be the issue date of the notice? 
this you can find with this formula means the uh, use of this formula is uh, very vast in this uh, in the regards in finance related cases we will definitely use this formula eo month this formula will return you the last date of effective day means last day of the month of your effective date last day of the month of your effective date this formula is going to return just let me know if you are clear with the concept of this formula for generating random date same formula we can use random day uh, ran rand between but you will have to combine the formulas rand between and dates these two formula when you will combine you can generate random dates that we will learn how to do you can just press control c uh, on this cell for example 30 31-01-2024 as formula c2 so when you will press control c formula will be copied but the cell, uh, where you will paste the formula cell references will be changed because we are using relative cell references not absolute cell references so be careful while copying the formula Okay, now uh, one more interesting formula for you. See, sometimes we have to calculate the days between two dates. Days between two dates, we have to calculate. For that, the formula which is used is your days, days formula. This formula will calculate the days between two dates for example the days of your life how you will calculate days of your life date of today means today's date and your birth date you can compare and you can you can do what thing ha huh, you can use this formula for calculating days between your birth date and today so what this formula accepts as an argument will tell you it's very simple formula but very useful its first argument is your end date end date will be the first argument for this formula and start date will be the second argument remember because it will minus the number of days from today's date means it will minus your day, birth date from today's date and that's how it will return the result so just do one thing you have date of today in your uh, sheet just type your date of birth just type your date of birth. Eamon, Eamon, C1. So let me clear this. B1E date through C1E, a uh, one date through C, B1E date, B1E, B1E date through C5. Cut, 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 remove the select student to take a line default B1. Date A1, B1. Okay, so days is the formula. A, Y, S. 
Align 30-03-2023 as 4B2. Okay, so type your birth date in this particular cell. So my birth date of birth is? Edit align left 1, 0, 0, dash, 0, 9, 0, 9, dash, 1, 9, 9, 9. 1999? Align 10-09-1999B2. This is the date. Means date of birth. B3. And I have to calculate the days between these two dates. 30-03-2023 as formula A2. This is the date of today. 10-09-1999B2. And this is my birth date. So let's calculate the days between these two dates. B3. Edit the line left equals D A Y S Days Days left parent End date is today's date. So A, A two two a two comma B, B two B two right parent Align to for eighty six oh two as formula B three eighty six means eight thousand six hundred two days. I have spent on this earth. That's what this formula says. Just let me know if you are able to calculate the days between two dates. So this formula is uh, used in many cases for calculating days between two dates. You can, uh, you can subtract two dates, but for subtraction of two dates, there is different formula. Because, see, uh, you can try this, just uh, put the formula A1 minus A2, whatever the, your date sales are. The, means, uh, the, in my case, the, a three, 30 dash, a three. the formula should be, edit the line left equals A, A two. two Minus a two dash B two B two and C align to fault for eighty six oh two as formula A three. Still you will get same result. But if your date format changes or if you have month name in your dates, so then you will have to use different logic. Because there are different date formats. But this formula is also useful. But in some versions of Excel, you may find a problem in this regard. Because the, the latest versions are able to identify these things. The, that we are minusing the date from date and format. They will uh, identify the format and uh, minus the date. Okay, so let's move ahead. There is another formula that is network days. Network days. This formula will calculate the network days in two dates. For example, if you want to know that how many working days are there in March, 
how many working days are there in March. So you can use this formula. This formula excludes Saturday and Sunday and your holidays if the list is provided and it will return the network days between two dates. For example, 30 day, 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 day one. Now I will clear this date. And I will type new date. A one date, a one date through C one, a, a one date through cut, cut, remove the selection and put it on the student details align to a one, a one. Okay, so start date and end date. I will type here. Edit align left T A R T R space A T E date space align default vertical align default B one and end date. Edit N D N D space D A T E date space. Align default vertical align default start day day one a two. For example, we want to know that how many working days are there in the month of March 2023? How many working days are there? So let's type the starting date of March 2023. That is. Edit align one one dash zero three zero three dash two zero two three. This is your first date. Align to end date B two. And end date will be. Edit align one. Three one one dash zero three zero three dash two zero two three. This is your end date. Now network days. We align have to default vertical C one. So let's type network days as heading. Edit E T O R K. Network. Network space space D A Y day space S S space. Network days crop C one. So this is the formula which we are going to use. C two. This formula accepts only two arguments, start date and end date. So let's type the formula here. Edit align left equals N E T W O R K D A Y S. Network days. Network days left parent. Start date is your A two. A two comma. End date is B two. B two right parent. Align to twenty three dash zero one dash nineteen hundred as formula C two. Okay, so we'll convert into number. Rip n number four align general general number number so general general, general sheet four table general. align to c three twenty three as formula c two. So there are twenty three working days in the month of March twenty twenty three. It has excluded Saturdays and Sundays. Now, how many working days are there in the month of February and March? So just change your start date to 1st of February 2022 and let me know the network days between these two months. So we'll change the date. 301-03, edit line 1, 1, dash, 0, 2, 0, 2, dash, 2, 0, 2, 3. Align default, vertical align default, a 3. So let me know the network days between February and March in the comment section quickly. Please repeat the formula. Okay. Formula is network days. N E T W O R K D A Y S. Network days. This formula will accept two arguments. Start date, comma end date. And this will calculate the number of days, number of working days between these two dates. So formula is network days without any space N E T W O R K D A Y S network days and in bracket these two parameters. Just let me know the network days from 1st Feb to 31st March. For six working days, we have different formula that we will study. I got that. <coughs> Bituji, just check your start date and end date because date should be in proper format. And formula uh, 
should be equals network days and the parameters okay number value so i will read out the formula but before that let me change the date four, a three. Zero one dash zero two dash twenty twenty three or two. So I will change this date because I want the number of days from Feb to March from you all. So let me change the date. Edit the line one, one dash zero three zero three dash two zero two three. Align to zero one dash zero three dash twenty twenty three or two thirty twenty three as formula C two. So this is the result, and I will read out the formula for you guys. Edit the line left equals network days left parent a two right equals N E T W O R K D A Y S network days left parent A two comma B two right parent blank. These are the cell references for my vertical. start date and end date. See, don't check your date. start date should be your first argument because your end date should be always greater than start date please remember this thing end date should be greater than your start date so kindly check your dates so surbhi ji can, you can just check your start date and end date or cell references for the dates definitely i am going to tell you the formula just let others do this if you are in class you will learn all the formulas just sit back and relax uh you will find same error ha huh? just let me know your start date just surbhi ji just confirm your dates probably there might be an issue Ah, yes and end date is yeah dates are correct so can you just uh, <coughs> read your formula and check okay till the time others uh, you are going to message me the number of working days abhay sir please message the number of uh, uh, network days from 1st of feb to 31st march i am waiting for all of you please let me know the number of network days from 1st feb to 31st march Just let me know the number of network days quickly. B three three. 
2023-2. Edit aligner 1, 1, dash 0, 2, 0, 2, dash 2, 0, 2, 3. Align 0, 1, dash 0, 2, dash 2023-2. No, no, from February to March, means from 1st of Feb to 31st March, you are going to calculate, not 28 Feb. I want network days from 1st of February to 31st March. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can just uh, change your date format to short date. Bituji, you can check your uh, dates again. Ah, yes, now it's correct. Yes. Patel sahab, just check your date format. It should be DDMMYY, but using dash only. And start end date should be greater than start date. End date should be greater than your start date. three yes so there are 43 network days so let me just reconfirm it edit the line left equals n e t w o r k d a y s network days network days left parent a two a two comma b two b two comma h one h one colon h five h five aligned with number value bang as formula a three Oh, okay, okay. Just I have added another parameter unnecessarily. Edit the line left equals network days left. Mm -hmm. Equals network days equals network. Blank. Right parent. Five. Right parent. Five. Right parent. Five. Eight. Colon. Okay, so I will just align number value bang as formula A3. I have added unknown. Unnecessary. Formula plan. Uh -huh. Equals N E T O R K D A Y S. Network days left parent A two 
a two colon colon comma B two B two right there right there and less less comma okay there are 43 days and it's correct Okay, so what if uh, you want to add uh, holidays in this dates? Holiday list, if you want to add holiday list because there are uh, some holidays as per Indian calendar. So let's try to add holiday after comma. Left bracket. Using this bracket. H1. One. H1 will be my holiday. I will type the date of H1. H1, right bracket. And we'll close this bracket right there. as well. Microsoft Excel dialog there. Tick as a problem with help button. No OK button. Okay, Unknown is student. It is not taking. With H. Sheet four table a four number value bang as formula a known sheet for a three. Okay, just try it at your end. Just add uh, holidays means a cell reference as the third optional parameters after comma or because. I'm having some problem and I'm checking it on my end. Yes, 43 is correct, but uh, it's minus 43. So probably you have typed the uh, dates uh, in reverse format. Okay, so uh, we will stop here uh, because it's 8.30. So we will uh, start from holiday list uh, by tomorrow and we will uh, also cover uh, these many formulas such as uh, Network Day International. In that formula, you will have flex holidays or flex working days. Suppose six days in a week, all the things are included in that formula, Network Days International. That is a very important formula and we have a lot of formulas to cover such as uh, date, dated if, which will return you the difference between two dates in year, months and days, whatever uh, you want in which parameter. Then uh, there are formulas such as time, uh, time value, date value. These formulas we are going to cover. Uh, weekdays are weekdays, then so many formulas are there. There are work days also. Network days are there and work days are also there. Work days and work day international. Then week days, this formula also we are going to cover. Week number, this is another formula that we will cover. Then hours, minutes and seconds, this uh, is uh, another set of formula that we will cover. So tomorrow we will be done with this, uh, all the date formulas and we will move to number formulas in next class. Up.
Ah, uh, uh, get missing once a broadcast starts. Three stop work.